so uh, what is your view being in the space that uh, you know why suddenly mental health mental illness has you know come up uh, compared to what used to happen you know while we were kind of growing up i think for sari reasons hai uh, one of them is obviously there is higher level of uh, the awareness has increased dramatically post covid uh, not denying that you know career stress hai family issues hai or on one ex- the other extreme of uh, high degree of severity of uh, you know a problem is mental illness so mental health is technically like a full curve uh, but in general i think people have become more uh, more comfortable talking about it. more because they see it around them so our times are such that they are more stress inducing than they used to be um, social media has spurred uh, that all the more so try to understand ki ha ye ho sakta hai and then i might do something may i take the next step your support cannot be the solution because obviously everybody's life is different ki ha meri situation unique hai ye to kisi ke sang bhi nahi ho raha hoga my in laws are the worst my boss is very toxic there are ways to develop that self awareness uh, for me uh, therapy was one of the ways in that uh, you know which kind of helped me understand myself more dekho this is not for me ya fir ye teen cheeze maybe this kind of job is not for me Welcome uh, Punita to Thank Game you. Room. Thanks for taking out time. Uh, would love to hear uh, what exactly is Solap, you know, doing. So thanks for having me here. Uh, so Swati, what we are building at Solap, like you said, you know, we decided to take a very first principles approach to building in mental health. I mean, समझ में आया that a lot of people in India, when they look at mental health, uh, one is they assume that mental health, mental illness, is. Uh, but that is not the case all of us have uh, some form of mental health or the other our mental health could be good or could not be as good right but mental health har cheez se affect hota hai hamare relationship se career se hamare health se to mujhe samajh aaya ki kya ho raha hai ki the, the only solution in the market which people pay for is something like therapy uh, jo bahut extreme cases mein use hota hai so wanted to build something jo bahut log use kar paaye sab log use kar paaye across different kinds of needs across different levels of needs uh, which is why agar humne first principles se soche to hume ye bhi samajh aaya ki a lot of people are dealing with problems which may or may not always need therapy uh, there are other use cases also and uh, one thing that is common across use cases is the need to connect with other people and understand from their what their journey is because when i'm trying to solve a problem I want to know how other people have solved it. Uh, so that is at least what the genesis of Solap was, where we said, you know, people need uh, to be made aware of how other people are solving it because level of awareness on solutions is low. So, पहले वहाँ से start करते हैं कि how can you know uh, how other people are dealing with it? So it's a very peer-led approach. Uh, Solap helps you find, discover, and then connect with other people who are solving the same challenge. At least that's where we started from for now. तो एक बात बताइए कि आपने mental health you know क्यों चुना और mental health और mental illness में you know क्या difference है? Sure. So uh, mental health was just I mean obviously it's very interesting अगर ऐसे theoretically सोचे I have I have personally worked in healthcare for 15 years of my life. So health in general as a domain has always been uh, very exciting to me and interesting to me. तो दैट इज वन एंड देन बिफोर दिस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग सोलप बी मै लाइक एट लीस्ट वन ईयर आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड समथिंग इन द मेंटल हेल्थ स्पेस एज पार्ट ऑफ माई ऑल योर जॉब तो मुझे उसमें समझ में भी आया कि क्या गैप्स और अपॉर्चुनिटीज एग्जिस्ट करते हैं एटलीस्ट एज फॉर द इंडियन मार्केट कोर्स सो ऑब्वियसली आप जितना जिस चीज़ में घुसते हो आपको उतना इंटरेस्ट बढ़ता है सो दैट इज समथिंग दैट पीक्ड माई इंटरेस्ट ऑल द मोर एंड द फैक्ट दैट इट इज स्टिल रिलेटिवली अनसोल्ड Uh, makes it a very very interesting challenge, and of course my co-founder Mehak has also worked in this digital health space. So both of us are also you know not only very um, partial when it comes to health, we're also uh, greatly motivated by building something जो थोड़ा impact led है. Um, so mental health obviously seems like such an unsolved problem. Uh, I'm definitely not somebody who wanted to be a founder. मुझे कभी नहीं करना था, but uh, the the prospect of solving or attempting to solve something like this was too much to ignore so that's how we came about it uh, to your latter half of the question um, mental illness is like when 
there is pathology or an illness you know there's something that's been uh, Uh, diagnosed as a condition ki ha mujhe mujhe adhd hai ocd hai uh, bipolar hai a major depressive disorder hai uh, mental health is a state of how my mental health is right now i my mental health could be very good i might be thriving and doing very well mental health wise or i might be slightly languishing ki ha itna acha nahi hai you know career stress hai ya family mein issues hai or on one the other extreme of uh, high degree of severity of uh, you know a problem is mental illness so mental health is technically like a full curve of issues uh, right from like i said you know for being good and being you know um, a case for severe illness and diagnosis leading to mental illness so recently i read somewhere that you know one of the gen z's he got anxious because a menu card was served to him and there were too many things he had to choose and that led to anxiety so uh, what is your view being in the space that uh, you know why suddenly mental health mental illness has you know come up uh, compared to what used to happen you know while we were kind of growing up i think bahut sare reasons hain uh, one of them is obviously there is higher level of uh, the awareness has increased dramatically post covid uh, not denying that uh, but in general i think people have become more uh, more comfortable talking about it more because they see it around and so our times are such that they are more stress inducing than they used to be um, social media has spurred uh, that all the more so these i would it's a different kind of stress definitely uh, but it's also all the more we are constantly kind of tuned in so the stress levels are higher the awareness in vocabulary is also higher now people are aware of terms like boundaries or anxiety uh, trauma you know sometimes they get over abused wo baat bhi sach hai that is the downside of awareness but the upside is that at least aapke wo wheel uh, you know world view mein hai aapko pata hai ki ye possible hai and agar aapko lag raha hai ki kuch honestly something is off you can actually find resources or support uh, but um, so it's both good and bad that you know it's so much out in the open and it has become part of the general narrative now that people discuss it so more, so much but i just get over abused also in terms of you know people saying i'm depressed uh, but they're not actually i mean they might be sad so i think wo dheere dheere aayega awareness uh, but as uh, as a founder in the space i'm happy that uh, people are more open to it ki ha kuch ho sakta hai and i think that maturity and that uh, you know aligning with what it really means will come slowly so i think it's uh, that inflection point will happen but so we're not very far away from it where the market matures and people actually know it for what it is different things but how do i just uh, know as an individual that uh, maybe maybe uh, there is something wrong with my mental health you know i either need to probably use a platform like solab or you know figure out whether my mental health is you know healthy enough yeah or you know go for a therapy so how how can i as an individual know that that's a great question it's a process swati uh, there is no set uh, linear path it's a process i think the initial parts stages of that process is you knowing that something is interfering with your day to day routine something is preventing you from doing your job as well or from being with your family or committing to uh, you know uh, social obligations something is interfering with your day to day life ye ek early signs hote hain kuch signs hote hain when somebody close to you tells you that you seem off is something bothering you or is something up um and then there is a process of discovery and your level of uh, again readiness to say ki ha agar kuch garbad hai bahut log proactively immediately solve karte hain so they'll go read online they'll try out different options but there is a journey sometimes people will be stuck thinking ki ha kuch gadbad hai but i'll do it i'll do it and only when it becomes very severe do they do something about it some people will solve it proactively others will see others around them solve it and then solve ki ha ha my friend uh, you know she was she had anxiety and she tried to do yoga and it helped her to maybe kuch karti hu na ya main padhti hu ki mera bhi anxiety hai kya so different things work for different people uh, different things work for the same people at different stages of their life also um but i uh, i think just again you know it being part of the general narrative people when they start feeling now ki ha something might genuinely be off they at least look for solutions and which is why i think part of what we are trying to solve at solar pace that 
एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ रेडीनेस आपके लिए कि आप लॉस्ट फील करें कि कुछ प्रॉब्लम है भी क्या राइट right? कभी कभी होता है आपको लगता है कुछ है पर क्या है मुझे पता नहीं वर्थ सॉल्विंग भी है मुझे पता नहीं अगर वर्थ सॉल्विंग है सोल्यूशन क्या है मुझे पता नहीं यू माइट बी स्टक एट डिफरेंट लेवल विच इज वाई आई थिंक वाई वी बिल्ड इट Uh, why we build what we are building and why we think it is a good first principles approach to take is baki logo se baat karke pucho to kuch to samajh mein aayega if i say that i have postpartum depression shayad diagnosis nahi hua if i talk to other people who've been moms in the past shayad sun mein ki ha ye ho sakta hai and then i might do something may i take the next step so it's important to be to be able to talk to people and really you know start figuring out uh, what it could be and then go from there so as a human sometimes i feel that uh, you know this whole concept of baki logo se baat karke kuch log there are two type of you know people sometimes if i'm going to tell you tell people that dekho meri you know zindagi jhand ho gayi wo bolenge ki ha zindagi to jhand hi hoti hai matlab hamari bhi itni jhand hai they they really kind of you know pull you down yeah. uh, there are very very few people who who can really you know pull you up so you have you know a list and host of peers uh, you know in your platform so how have you gone about choosing those peers and you know how do you really ensure that uh, uh, you know there is a meaningful conversation wherein someone you know actually came out with a solution or you know someone came out with a feel good or someone has come out with something what the person is really looking for because sharing your problem may not always mean that the person is helping you solve you know the problem sometimes you get entangled in the negativity uh, you know itself because samne wala apni bhi problem share karne lag jata hai hmm. got it so uh, any peer support and peer support by the way you know it goes back decades there's a lot of research behind peer support um we are the first company to actually build it systematically but peer support is not new in fact peer support usually bahut hi clinical cheezon ke liye use hua hai bahut hi extreme cheezon ke liye usually for schizophrenia bipolar and all uh, we are building it across the board for different things um uh, that i wanted to you know first put out as a first point but kya hota hai ki when you are a lot of times your peer support is not a solutioning mechanism it doesn't give you solutions peer support cannot give you solutions because obviously everybody's life is different peer support is for two main things one is mostly in mental health or whenever you're going through anything you think ki ha meri situation unique hai ye to kisi ke sang bhi nahi ho raha hoga my in laws are the worst my boss is very toxic or my you know my career is just nose diving like nothing else so most important for people is to connect with others who've been in the same boat that itself is a huge relief i mean i'm sure a lot of us have experienced it if you see oh my child has anger issues you'll hear one more mother say it and you'll be like instant relief me too is always good to hear me too is huge <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. like aha moment hota hai yeah. ke liye and that's that's meaningful in itself a lot of people want to come to us just uh, to be able to talk to somebody else who who's been in same boat period now the narrative that we go with where we say look you talk to a peer is that you find support and you learn from something that is referred to in mental health as lived experience shared lived experience uh, that where you get perspectives ki dekho maine ye sab kiya this may not work for you or this may work for you but this worked for me or at least i also felt this way so those that sharing of experience and that connecting on the and just discovering that there is one other real person who's gone through it is uh, where it starts and ends and uh, that itself is very very meaningful for a lot of people we see people who've been in therapy are in therapy um also come for peer support uh, because i might be living with a major depressive disorder for the last 10 years but i have never really met somebody who's going through it and you know understood from them from the horse's mouth what it is to live with it so they say ki yaar mujhe bas i want to connect with one other person who has the same thing or i might have a very weird or a very difficult chronic condition uh, maybe i have vitiligo and i've never i would love to hear from somebody else who has vitiligo what is uh, how hard it is to live with vitiligo uh, so i think that common ground itself adds a lot of meaning um but that being said you know anything could i mean i would not say that anything is full proof uh, therapy can trigger you even therapists can trigger you sometimes or that something somebody might say is triggering or you might read an article in the paper which is triggering any conversation anything in the world could trigger you or take you down a rabbit hole that you don't want to go through to wo aap us man ke aate hain ki yaar i'm talking to another person uh hum you ki you know this could go very well or it could go mediocre uh and that person is there just as me 
एंड आई विल जस्ट लर्न आई विल जस्ट हेयर आउट फ्रॉम अन अदर पर्सन हुज बीन इन द सेम बोट मुझे कोई सोल्यूशन नहीं मिलेगा मुझे एडवाइस चाहिए नहीं मोस्ट पीपल डोंट वॉन्ट एडवाइस दे जस्ट नीड वैलिडेशन एंड यू नो कि हाँ देर दिस वाज अनदर पर्सन हुज गॉन थ्रू इट एंड दैट्स मैजिकल दैट्स मैजिकल वी सी more than one third people come back for multiple conversations wow and with the same peer or they choose the it varies it varies people will sometimes come back with the same peer some people say ki mujhe usi same topic pe 10 logo se baat karna hai and sometimes i might you know develop a good rapport with you or ya fir mera conversation meaningfully complete nahi hua so i'll say ki nahi yaar i need a couple of follow ups with swati so maybe i'll talk to you again again um or again people might usually also men- mental health is not unidimensional agar mujhe anxiety hai ya kuch aur hai to i'll have uh, i'll probably have some work thing or also relationships there's so many things you know that uh, we want to solve in our life so somebody will talk to a peer for career and then they say hi yeah, this is helping so then they'll say okay by the way you know i have this parenting thing also so they'll talk to somebody else uh because they find that those conversations are great when you're meeting somebody that you don't know so they are a stranger to you but they are not a stranger to the problem which is great right zero judgment but very informed discussion um and obviously there is a curation process you know you always want to talk to peers who have good ratings and they all go through a curation process where they understand कि आप यहाँ पे क्यों हैं राइट यू आर देयर टू हैव अ कंस्ट्रक्टिव कॉन्वर्सेशन वी आल्सो डू अदर थिंग्स वेयर वी टेक केयर ऑफ दिस कोई भी जैसे सोलह पे आप ऑन डिमांड बात नहीं कर सकते यू कांट से कि मुझे अभी बात करना है किसी से बिकॉज दैट मीन्स दैट यू आर फीलिंग वेरी लो यू आर वेरी ट्रिकर वी ऑलवेज हैव अ ट्वेल्व आवर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर डिले यू कैन बिकॉज कॉन्वर्सेशन हैज टू बी कंस्ट्रक्टिव यू कॉन्ट गो एंड वेंट इट्स नॉट अ वेंटिंग प्लेटफॉर्म इट्स अ platform for exchange of ideas and experiences venting se kya aapka mental health improve ho jayega for the next few hours maybe and the other person's mental health will go down which is not good so we have these measures built in to make sure that the conversation is always um, constructive but but as a platform do you uh, have control over what happens in that you know conversation no we don't have control we have all peers get trained um, uh, with strict do's and don'ts uh but we don't have control but the law of numbers uh takes charge eventually you see peer ratings etc there's no control but you know as human beings we are wired i mean we've been living on this planet for 20 plus years so like most people on the platform are 25 plus and you have to be 21 plus to be a peer at least um so we are we have so basic social skills to not make it destructive unless and we are out to make it destructive uh, so and the fact that the conversation is on video uh, adds a lot of onus to oh, ownership it's not in person it is video it's all video it's not in person uh, it's all online but we uh, it's on but that video itself so we want to replicate in person as much as possible in person is not always you know it adds cost and friction uh but we try and do video and that itself because verbal cues samajhna hai aapko ownership lena hai ki nahi aap jo bol rahe ho it's not a faceless anonymous person uh so and then those social skills immediately come in everybody has those decent good social skills you've been interacting in the world plus we get we train so that takes care of everything thing uh, interesting time so as i think we have, we have reached a world wherein businesses are built on interesting concept how did you think of building a business which is you know based on validation and sharing because this what you're doing is very interesting but uh, but I, i'm not sure uh, i'm sure you would have thought about it but how scalable uh, you know is this and uh, is is therapist a competition you know to you guys or would you generally have therapist also on your platform peers also on your platform yeah so um how we thought of this was again you know going back to uh saying that okay what do most people need what has what has happened in the world before this how have those problems been addressed uh, most people when they are solving a problem need to need to find other people who've solved it that's a very instinctive human need it's very intuitive to us we do it professionally all the time right ki mujhe problem manager banna hai to जिसने जिसने किया प्रॉब्लम मैनेजमेंट उससे बात कर लेते हैं ना यू स्टूडेंट राइट सो एंड वी डू इट फॉर पर्सनल थिंग्स बट इफ इट इज डन सिस्टमैटिकली वोट इट बी ऑसम राइट तो वहां से हमने स्टार्ट किया एंड देन ऑब्वियसली वी बैंक इन टू रिसर्च बोथ मेहक एंड आई वी आर एक्सट्रीमली रिसर्च ओरिएंटेड आई 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 हैव अ बैकग्राउंड इन बायोटेक् रिसर्च ओरिएंटेड आई डोंट डू एनी थिंग टिल आई रीड इन ऑफ पेपर्स अराउंड इट सो वी सॉ दैट सो मच रिसर्च बिहाइंड प्योर सपोर्ट एंड इट्स बींग डन इन डिवेलप मार्केट्स अलॉट 
Uh, so that's how we started. But then coming to your question, which was which was that uh, so so as as a user, I feel that your platform is great. Oh, the scalability. Yeah, right, right? I'm mean, just talking about yeah. the scalability. So scale. Uh, in terms of being scalable, everybody can potentially be a peer. We're literally looking at it as, and by the way, like peer support is one of the things that we do, but peer support itself could be like a mini, mini LinkedIn for mental health. Wow. Because everybody is potentially a peer. Uh, people, it's literally like picking up your phone and saying, Ki, you know, I've, uh, you know, I'm going through a posh thing at work. It could be just anything or I got diagnosed or I have this very difficult procedure, uh, medical procedure and I'm very anxious about it. I want to talk to all the people who've gone through this procedure. It could be anything under the sun, which is emotionally challenging for you. And can you find people for it? And yes, you can. Uh, I'm trying to adopt a child. It could be anything, uh, right? We have people around this also, where people have adopted, gone through surrogacy. Uh, anything that's emotionally difficult, you find people for it, like you, how you do it on LinkedIn. So uh, in theory, it's scalable. We found it to be easy to build uh, given how you know that we've just started building it um so coming to therapy therapy is definitely not uh, not competition uh, in fact we do offer therapy on the platform itself um and we do it for two reasons one is in order to solve mental health you have to build all the pieces of mental health you can't say self peer support self support groups uh, so we do support groups also where which is uh, multiple peers or multiple people in the same boat uh, working on a problem together but you can't say Ki, nee, I yeh because you need to like initially our entire thought process is that you provide for the majority of the market you provide for people who are lost or don't know where to begin but you also provide for people who are working actively on their mental health so therapy is definitely one of them in case uh, the problem demands therapy what we also saw was um, uh, which again was very interesting to us a lot of people uh, like I might talk to peers and then start therapy because they heard the peers say Ki ha, therapy. I, I did therapy for this and it really helped. Because a lot of people are just on the edge. Main ye karu ya nahi karu. Should I take a support group? Should I talk to a psychiatrist? Should I get diagnosed for this? Should I take therapy for this? There are so many questions along your journey. And when you talk to a peer, you say, ha, I make ya unne help mila. Or they'll explain how therapy works. And then you'll end up taking therapy. We've had people who've dropped therapy, spoken to a peer, understood ki nahi, nahi, therapy takes a lot of time, and then gone back to therapy. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the idea is to add all solutions, but for people who need ongoing support or are lost at different points of time to also have that peer cushioning everything else that is being built. Interesting. So what do you do to take care of your mental health? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I build soul up. <laughs> wow. So, uh, I mean, uh, I think, yeah, for me... Uh, I would I'm don't I wouldn't say I'm very proud of this, but definitely work is a huge refuge for me. Uh, work does provide what I need uh, out of life all the time. So yeah, I think uh, uh, building Solar has been like a big part of my life and makes me feel that that's the reason why I'm a founder and I'm doing this because it actually gives me it feeds into all my emotional needs uh, work wise uh, so much so much. But outside of that, yeah, I think I've been in therapy myself. Um, I do take therapy on and off. I wouldn't say I'm the best client, but I do take therapy on and off. And talking to people in general, um, it's coming from that belief, Swati, where we, I do believe that talking to people has helped. I do go to people who've solved or done things or gone through experiences that I struggle with. As founders, we do that all the time. Uh, but even for my personal things, I talk to people and that has helped it. So it's kind of fueled my um conviction in this model ki nahi it helps and i am a peer myself on the platform so those conversations peer conversations bahut reciprocal bhi hote hain aisa nahi hai ki jo peer hai wo emotionally perfect hai hmm. uh, we also encourage peers ki talk about things that are relevant to you if you are a mom or you know you think you have a condition that you struggle with only talk about things that are relevant to you right now so when you have conversations with callers even you feel validated in some sense or you also learn something from them so conversation zaruri nahi hai ki wo balanced ho uh, par uh, reciprocal to ho hi sakta hai ki you you take away something and i take take away something so i am pure i do that so yeah different things you also have a 10 year old uh, there are so many kids who i who i now hear are going you know for therapy so any anything that you're doing to uh, you know have her mental health uh, 
you know to to make her mentally strong rather <laughs> that's a very hard <laughs> one uh, but at least what i have been told is that the best way to do that is to as parents be very uh, mentally stable so i don't have to do anything proactively for her other than uh, you know first work on myself uh, because that's the environment then that i give her so uh, her dad and i both of both of us have that realization ki nahi yaar we need to be very stable individuals or show a lot of self care so that she learns that too and the other only other thing is that if you know they express anything that you are just there to hear him out hear them out without judgment or advice or anything you have to just let them sit with their emotions uh, that also really helps you recognize and give them that space but but why do you think so many kids now need you know therapy uh, compared to what it was you know before like i i i know of kids who are 5 years you know old kids who are 8 years old who are going through multiple therapies so is it because the family environment itself is not stable is it because the parents themselves are going through some you know mental yeah. health you know challenge what what could be the reason i mean i i won't say i'm an expert on children's mental health at all uh, but definitely uh, from what my understanding is it could one large part of it could be the environment at home or parents not doing okay uh, and then say you know that it obviously gets projected on the child and the child is equally confused or does struggle with their emotions and the other is again awareness uh, parents now even if i am fine and i recognize something in my child everybody uh, is uh, you know very proactive when it comes to their children and say okay this child needs support and how can i do this even if i am doing everything i can to make it okay this they still need support so let's figure this out um so i think that reducing stigma that hyper awareness and proactivity is definitely contributing but in terms of why uh, it might be happening it could be just the times you know people at home struggling and so the child struggles so that so do you have people from tier 2 tier 3 cities also you know right now coming to your platform or largely it's the urban india which has moved away from the stigma and is accepting that you know this is a real problem that needs to be solved so we have a 60 40 split 60 is tier 2 tier 3 in fact wow yeah it's very counterintuitive i know and we've double checked it <laughs> wow. which is why right, because we're like nahi 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 uh which is great you know because again uh i would say uh, if i really try and internalize why that would be happening it's also because and in you know when we spoke to users we understood that it's again you know a lot of people in tier 2 tier 3 are also because the market is relatively little less mature there are also trying to find their way around and saying how do we start this journey if we are struggling with anything and peer support or support groups are a great way to do it uh, where like support groups are great because you work with a therapist but you don't feel like you are on the hot seat ki hum 45 minutes mein kya bolu if i don't have much to say so they work brilliantly where you are in a small group space tumne pure session kuch nahi bola you know you're just kind of taking everything in works great and plus there is that added socialization that you know you're meeting the same people again and again so tier 2 tier 3 may because they are maybe trying to find their feet more when it comes to solutions i could see why something like peer support or support groups work uh, but we, but uh, the the other beauty of peer support is that it's inherently scalable globally so we are present in 16 countries now wow. because there is no legal boundary when it comes to uh, offering peer support uh and obviously there is this whole cultural thing right uh, any indian sitting outside also who want to talk to indians as much as they can so that makes it very you know back to the scalability thing uh it's globally it's you know you can it globally relevant and you can take it across your locations without it being an issue so what what let's let's talk about your shark tank uh, you know journey <laughs> so what what made you go to shark tank Oh, that was a complete whim. I mean, वो uh, literally ऐसे list बनाते हैं ना G T M की कि go to market क्या क्या करेंगे. वो एक list में एक bullet point था. And uh, I remember I was uh, on vacation, uh, and this was very early. We were like three months old when we applied. Three months as a company, so we were just researching क्या करें कैसे करें. We were in our research phase. We had just launched an MVP, and I was on vacation, and my co-founder Mehak. Uh, it was Saturday and she's like, yeah, I I mean I had some downtime तो मैंने अप्लाई कर दिया ग्रेट अगर ये हुआ देन यू टेक केयर ऑफ दिन देर नो टाइम राइट नाउ देर सो मच टू डू इट केम थ्रू इट वॉज कम्प्लीटली अवे फॉर अस एंड वी थॉट की ओके अगर हो गया नो हम डन बट इट टर्न आउट टू बी ब्यूटिफुल ब्यूटिफुल थिंग टू डू बिकॉज यू गेट 
I think also when you are doing a category builder, uh, Swati, you need you need platforms to obviously, uh, you know, be able to explain what you are building, but you also need to build trust. And something like Shark Tank helps you uh, convey trust. A lot of people think, "Hi, it's very good, but is this for real?" Uh, we used to get that question initially. Is this for real? And we were like, "Yeah, it is." <laughs> but uh, Shark Tank, think like Shark Tank. They add that layer of legitimacy that you need initially, especially if you're doing something that people have not heard of. Uh, so it was a great boost that way. So, uh, any anything that you would want to uh, talk about, you know, life pre Shark Tank and post Shark Tank, or from a business, from a personal standpoint. How I mean. Like definitely pre Shark Tank, we were also very very early. Like I said, you know, we were a few months into building um, Soul Up, and uh, some things that were good was because of Shark Tank. Obviously, we kind of hastened. Uh, we're also very organic builders, where we say, "Ki nahi yar, let's uh, do the research first, let's sell first, and build later." Uh, but so we built it out. You know, getting a platform ready for uh, national television also was like so. It kind of helped us. Really launch quickly because we knew that we were going to be on TV, um, and then uh, post Shark Tank, definitely. I mean, got business went up ten uh, x, fifteen x uh, during the airing, and you know when it finally tapered down, it tapered down to a very, very good multiple of where we would have been without Shark Tank. Uh, but that added trust is something that we keep going back to. Wow. People just trust us more. Ki hai the legit hai hi. agar uh, you know they were on shark tank so uh, initial months may it really help us get that initial um, and when you explain i think every time you pitch uh, whether it is on shark tank or in front of an investor it's an opportunity to re look at your business in a different from that investor's lens mentor has make kyunki everybody is a customer uh, pitching to a tv audience also helped us really dumb down our pitch itna zyada ki yaar kaise explain kar sakte sabko samajh mein aaye So it was a great opportunity to do that early on in the game because you are again very very early in our journey. So yeah, the numbers helped and the trust has helped definitely. So interesting. In fact, we identified you on Shark Tank. <laughs> See, so this is so, this is evidence of what I'm saying. But what a what kind of founders you know should go to Shark Tank and what kind of founders shouldn't go to you know Shark Tank. Oh, that's a hard one. I mean, um, from my personal experience. Um, There's a time maybe where something like Shark Tank could work. Uh, maybe slightly earlier in the journey does help. Um, or you know, especially if you could use the money, if you are able to secure a deal on Shark Tank, if you can use that money, great. Uh, that money becomes increasingly relevant as you grow bigger. Definitely, the PR helps any day, any day. But if you're looking for money, then you have to be early in the journey. um definitely and you have to be kind of okay with national tv being on national tv and if it doesn't go well be okay with that too right uh, so you have to be comfortable ki ha jo hoga it's fine you know if it doesn't go as well and it's on and we are still on tv it's fine so that uh, that level of resignation has to happen but uh, i would say most people should try it why not it's a good way to put your business out there and what are you doing as founders if you are not ready to do that But did you and Mahak have a conversation that uh, you know what if uh, you know this platform doesn't get fund funding uh, you know and also we are building a, a category which is very very different a concept which is very very different uh, would people uh, not have mistrust rather than trust in you guys? मतलब वो fear था और you know mind में I think of I won't call it fear Swati it was more like a challenge for us uh, we were actually very happy कि अरे you know it's great uh, just Like deep believers in building for mental health, I um I would be lying if I said that no, yeah, solve up is everything. Uh, I think it's I'm just very excited to see who solves it. Or uh, so we were just very happy to say that yeah, there's a chance to talk about mental health on national TV. Yeah, it's very safe. No, we shouldn't mess it up in the sense that uh, it's a challenge where we say that yeah, what he uh, and the best way to not mess it up is to be honest. Ah, uh, the mistrust comes when you try and. portray a picture that is not true i mean sharks are obviously smart the audience is also very very smart so we said the best way to do it is to simplify one and to be honest ki ye hame pata hai aur ye hame nahi pata hai uh, we are too small or we are too early and the fact that it is obviously a very complex uh, domain to build in uh, if you're honest then the trust will come will come uh, so i think that was just the two things for us ki we won't 
fake what we don't know or what we've not done and then it should be taken care of and it was fine punita what you're doing doing uh, stems from your personal value and belief uh, you know system you spoke about honesty you spoke about trust mistrust you spoke about your own belief in mental health space you know you also spoke about the fact that you didn't want to be an uh, you never wanted to be an entrepreneur but mental health kind of you know made you an entrepreneur so would love to know your personal life you know journey and what what has you know led to this value system oh that's a slightly tough one i mean i wish i knew but uh, i'm uh, i think in terms of my journey i've uh, very very you know walked the beaten path did my engineering did my mba uh, you know got married had kids but uh, uh, i think definitely worked in uh, healthcare all through i also come from a family where most people work in healthcare so that was some a space that always appealed to me uh, in general and wanted to stick with it so i think a lot of i don't know value system is a very hard thing to know honestly very very hard thing to know uh, and i struggled with it uh, i struggled with it uh, but um, definitely i def- see you know being a founder of making building a company as you also building yourself as an individual you're not only building a company it challenges you in so many ways that i do see this you know in putting into what i am building of myself as a person that resilience or the need to be honest the need to be humble or the need to say ki nahi yaar uh, you know this is something that works for me to be able to recognize what works for you or what doesn't work for you as founders also inputs a lot into your yourself you know you as an individual so i think it's uh, a definitely a big work in progress uh, but um, i think uh, yeah that interest has come from my background uh, my professional background and uh, that value system is obviously being created uh, also when you're building in mental health uh, you cannot build there and i won't say i've not struggled with it you cannot build with some level of empathy uh, towards the user you can uh, it can't always be numbers or uh, i mean you're obviously striving for numbers you're striving for scale but you have to um, kind of build this other side of you which is uh, hugely empathetic and understands the complexity that comes with building in a space like this I definitely never wanted to be a founder i didn't think i had the temperament for it uh, always thought i was you know uh, at least the roles that i've been in i i come from a health and data science background so uh, and being a founder is uh, you know you need you need a maze you need you know you kind of need very good people skills be very resourceful i wasn't i didn't imagine i was any of that now and your temperament used to be very stable uh, so again that's something that you know i kind of try and work on every day uh, wanted ultimately ended up doing this because of my love and fascination for the problem that i say no no i want to solve it i wouldn't say that if i wasn't doing it i don't see myself trying to solve any other problem so literally i wouldn't say married but if it's if there's a problem worth solving for me it has to be this i want to solve this so is there a personal life or you know incidents which has happened with you or your family which made you so passionate about this you know problem mental health yeah. i mean i've struggled with my mental health uh, definitely i mean i've struggled with my own temperament i have struggled with mental health uh, uh with uh, you know lived with self esteem issues for the longest time taken therapy uh so i recognize it at least my radar and antenna is out all the time for it when i see it in people and when i see it in myself uh and i can see how hard and debilitating some parts of it can be um so i think at least from a first person perspective it's all come from me from my own journey and uh the other is you know as you build it more i mean at least through soul up uh at least it's it's been i've been very fortunate to come in Uh, touch with people who had crazy amazing journeys and for them to be able to you know come on board with us and kind of list themselves and say you know i'm here to share my life story with everybody else uh it's been some there's been some phenomenal people that i have come in touch with so which is why you know building soul up has been like literally building myself uh because you get to know these stories it inputs into your resilience uh as somebody who's part of the team and obviously as a founder to aap apne aap ko itna zyada construct reconstruct karte ho constantly so both of these are uh, 
जस्ट इट्स कॉन्स्टेंटली यू नो इट्स ओवरवेलमिंग समटाइम्स कि क्या हो रहा है बिकॉज द स्पेस इज सच यू नॉट ओनली योर फाउंडर द स्पेस इट सेल्फ ब्रिंग्स सो मच थ्रो सो मच एट यू थ्रू दो स्टोरीज यू स्पोक अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट यू नो यू हैव स्ट्रगल थ्रू योर ओन सेल्फ स्टीम आई थिंक एनी वन हु वॉच इज योर एपिसोड ऑन शार्क टैंक और मीट्स यू इन पर्सन विल नेवर बिलीव दैट यू नो दिस लेडी एवर हैड you know an issue of self esteem so kudos to you for uh, you know what you have done you know to yourself yeah. uh, but how have you done this you know would you have any messages uh, message for people uh, you know who would be kind of you know struggling uh, with their own self esteem how can they come out of it uh so i mean i think i still struggle with it and there's no way to know when you talk to people i didn't know that i struggled with my self esteem it came out as part of my therapy that i have self esteem issues i actually considered myself to be a very confident individual ki ha koi problem nahi hai uh so i think again you know no there are ways to develop that self awareness uh for me uh therapy was one of the ways in that uh, you know which kind of helped me understand myself more or what i struggled with better uh some people obviously there's just uh, you know uh people are a lot of people are now very inclined towards spirituality and they take that path to understand themselves better and i think that's like a great um i wouldn't say i'm spiritual i'm spiritually curious uh but i can see that people who've done it are uh, understand them understand themselves well uh but therapy has been eye opening for me in terms of understanding that oh i struggle with something that i never thought i did and nobody else would have guessed maybe but what was the moment <clears throat> what was the trigger point when you felt that look uh, i should go for a therapy now um i think wo hi tha when i thought ki a lot of what i'm dealing with is coming in the way of my day to day work and uh, uh i'll you know again you talk to other people and it has helped them so it was again this is outside of solo but you were literally talking to peers in a way so it is peer kind you talk to a friend or you talk to somebody you work with and they tell you hi i want to try therapy because you already aware of the solution you just need two other people who've gone through similar experience telling you ki nahi yaar it could work and uh, i tried it and it worked beautifully well and uh, i mean i got very lucky i also there's something called therapeutic alliance where you have to discover the right therapist uh, but for me at the word go it was just such a great fit with my therapist so it worked really well but a lot of people are actually also don't find that resonance very early on in the game where they struggle with therapy or they struggle with the right therapist to in finding the right therapist but they still need some kind of support uh so they need to always constantly look at other avenues till they find support and therapy as well could be another thing so yeah it was a it was a journey i mean i won't say ki problem start to a i mean therapy le liya aise nahi hua um there were ups and downs and then eventually i said no no i've been pushing it uh, or postponing it for the longest time i should i should and now i work in the space i should <laughs> so how how big is the mental health uh, you know uh, space uh, uh, you know across uh, the globe uh, how how fast is the need uh, you know of startups like that of yours just want to understand a little bit in terms of uh, you know how the space is today uh, at a macro level yeah so i think it depends a lot on how you define it swati i mean if you look at what has happened is a lot of times it's being defined as ki therapy market kitna bada hai uh, if you look at that then at least in india it's a 3 billion dollar opportunity but we don't look at therapy uh, you know as we were discussing therapy is not the only solution uh, different people have different personalities or states of readiness in terms of adopting solutions so if you look at um if you look at it in terms of all other things that are possible which could help you with your mental health we estimate that it's easily 10x of that so within india could easily be a 35 40 billion dollar opportunity wow and globally they say it's a 500 billion dollar market wow for mental health so how uh, we i mean somebody has to just be able to crack it or provide you know cater to needs need users where their needs lie because need sabko hai kuch ko therapy ka hai but baki kuch logo ko kuch aur cheezon ka hai uh wo kya hai right and how will they discover those things uh, and definitely mental health thoda unique hai because most people feel kind of alone in their journeys to unko start ya nudge karne ke kya tarike hai so all of those formats have to be discovered and created and scaled uh, but if you look at all of that uh, the scale is huge 500 billion dollar globally is a huge market to be tapped into but now that you're talking about the size of the market uh, you know if i have to pick up companies in the space it is far and limited so 
why do you think that the companies are far and limited so bahar i think there are obviously really companies that have done very very well for themselves uh, a lot of them also are uh, kind of you know go through employers and bahar it's also different because so much of your solutioning or therapy at least is paid for through insurance so it's a very different ball game you ma- there is higher level of uh, awareness and maturity as a market and it's also paid for it's not out of pocket uh, for a lot of markets like india uh, uh, you know this you know you have to get there it doesn't work that way on most of most expenses anything that you do with mental health you go for a support group it's all out of pocket uh, but uh, there are companies that have scaled phenomenally well globally there aren't anybody there isn't anybody who's doing peer uh, there are companies that have done peer support within a specific vertical ki hum peer support anxiety ke liye build kar rahe hain ya fir eating disorders ke liye build kar rahe hain adhd ke liye build kar rahe hain par unhone aise horizontally build nahi kiya hai companies ne बट हुएवर इज डन इट बाहर देर आर ह्यूज कंपनीज इंडिया में आई थिंक क्योंकि मार्केट इन मेच्योर है एंड मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिज आर आउट ऑफ पॉकेट कंपनीज हैव स्ट्रगल्ड हैव रियली स्ट्रगल्ड विच इज वाई वी थिंक इट्स यू नो यू नीड टू बिल्ड इट लाइक एन इको सिस्टम यू कान से हम सिर्फ ये करेंगे और वो स्केल हो जाएगा बिकॉज तुम बहुत कम लोगों को केटर करोगे फिटनेस के तरह है यू नो फिटनेस में तुम्हें अलग अलग चीज़ें डिफरेंट थिंग्स वर्क फॉर डिफरेंट पीपल हेल्थ मेंटल हेल्थ में भी ऐसे ही है Uh, you need to build different solutions to be able to capture a larger market uh, and i think people will eventually get there people have started with their own solution and as you scale and build incorporate more you will be able to capture a large market and hopefully get very big so ek cheez hota hai you know having having some mental health issue or mental illness and you know being empathetic you know towards that individual but but the other catch is that uh, you know having a pretense you know or just uh, exaggerating that you know what what we were discussing that log uh, menu card dekh ke anxious ho jate hain so as a guardian as an employer you know as a parent uh, you know how do you kind of you know differentiate and control uh, the real and the exaggerated uh, you know problem uh, because uh, while you may want to be you know uh, empathetic but sometimes when people are exaggerating you know being empathetic is you know probably giving fire to the exaggeration you know itself yeah. so what is your view on that i think there might be two things here at play one is that somebody an individual knows that uh, they are struggling with something or they are not now if they know uh, what the truth is and but they project otherwise then uh, that obviously is a problem and some of it could be because mental health is uh, you know just becoming part of the larger narrative and it's maybe almost sexy uh, to be associated with in some way that have a condition or to work in the space or anything so i think a lot of it could be for some kind of attention uh, but for somebody who's genuinely struggling uh, the way to go is to either get yourself assessed take an assessment read talk to people uh, again same you know it's a journey agar tum genuinely concerned ho ki koi challenge hai ya people around you think ki kuch garbad hai you have to do multiple things to figure it out uh, some of it could be a diagnosed condition agar wo hai then you know take that path uh, take assessments go for a diagnosis if you think ki nahi yeah, there is something that is not a condition or something that i need to solve try and solve it take therapy talk to a peer join a support group if you want ongoing support uh, but there are the good part is ki kyunki logo ko पता है सारे वर्ड्स उनको पता है कि हाँ ये सब पॉसिबिलिटीज हैं मे बी आई एम गोइंग थ्रू अब्यूज और मे बी दिस पर्सन इज टॉक्सिक और मे बी दिस इज यू नो आई एम प्रोक्रेस्टिनेटिंग एंड दैट्स माय प्रॉब्लम अ लॉट ऑफ इट विल कम इफ यू स्टार्ट एंगेजिंग विद प्लेटफॉर्म्स दैट ऑफर दैट वर्ल्ड व्यू बिकॉज कोई लीनियर पाथ है ही नहीं स्वाति कि नहीं पहले ए करो फिर बी करो फिर सी करो यू माइट डू ए बी सी एंड देन यू रियलाइज बी वर्क फॉर यू एंड देन स्टार्ट डूइंग मोर ऑफ बी so that's how it will work uh, but that is only if there is a genuineness or honesty with which you are approaching your problem if you've decided and convinced yourself ki nahi i have this uh, then you can tell the world anything but the world times are such people are uh, the default is to be empathetic uh, right you you cannot you can't uh, you have to give the other person that benefit of doubt that what they they are going through what they think they are going through and then the onus is on them uh, to you know find the truth of what is really happening provided they want to so so we are also in a uh, you know business where we help people you know get employed and there are so many times you know we just come across uh, you know candidates who have left their employment 
uh, you know because of mental health issue because of anxiety because of work pressure uh, but the counter stance to that is that you know probably you were not mentally uh, you know strong uh, you know enough uh, the pressure was not as much the pressure was not so much for you to kind of you know become you know anxious so where is the fine uh, you know balance uh, you know there because i i don't know how would a very mentally strong person look at someone who gets anxious you know looking at a menu card that's an example that i'm using again and yeah. again uh but mentally strong people also look at things in a very different you know way and they may f- they may feel that uh, probably this is a very small thing for you to even you know feel depressed or unhappy yeah but aap compare nahi kar sakte swati kisi ki bhi journey uh, so like them why the people who kind of you know are strong enough or uh, have more resilience emotionally more resilient to kind of take whatever comes um and that's great uh, and there might be people who might uh not be able to absorb whatever is thrown at them as well and that's fine all right uh, it's uh, i think at least as an employer or even as an employee i would give myself that space and say dekho this is not for me ya fir ye teen cheeze maybe this kind of job is not for me or these aspects of any job is not for me what do i do either i take a break and i work on myself or i start working on myself in parallel or i do work or put myself in situations which avoids things which um uh, you know kind of hamper my mental health uh, but it's so it's like to each his own hai literally where there is no wrong or right sabka apna journey hai uh agar aap kar pa rahe hain great otherwise figure it out take that break get your get help do it parallelly or don't take up those jobs take up a relaxed job uh and that's completely fine it's completely fine uh so i think recognizing that everybody has very different needs is very important and then just following through so i follow this uh, gentleman called you could you know very very yeah. you know actively uh, his claim to fame is that he has kind of helped many cancer patients through his you know diets and yeah. uh, very very he very strongly believes in the fact that if there is any disease that is stemming in your you know ecosystem uh, there is a lot of chance that has come because you know somewhere subconsciously emotionally you were yeah. not you know healthy yeah yeah that's completely true um, like they say skin condition for example asthma a lot of it um, and they follow a vicious cycle uh, if you feel emotionally not okay it will show up on your skin and uh, that in turn in turn will make you feel emotionally <laughs> not okay which again will show up on your skin uh because if you are uh, emotionally not okay it secretes the hormones the you know it will secrete cortisol and that will impact you emotionally all of so yeah it's all like so where where do we see solar uh, you know going in the next 3 to 5 years uh definitely i think uh, one of the things that we want to pursue is add more formats around peer support uh that's something that's been working very well for us and we see uh doing more of it uh we're also some we're also very big on kind of uh, going after white spaces uh there are spaces that at least in india we have not seen any discussion around which are very important to mental health i'll give you simpler examples where uh, simple examples where we have this group on child free deciding whether you want children or not oh wow uh and that's the, like one of our more successful groups and that we just came to it because we realized that there are a lot of people around us which were going through that condition and we said ha hum to tj hain to karke dekh hmm. and then it worked like a charm wow. uh, so many people go for that group again you know it's not how people think of mental health in their head but it's such an emotionally challenging yeah. decision for so many couples yeah. karna hai nahi karna hai karna hai nahi karna hai and then you know your kind of clocking the years and then you realize ki nahi yaar we have to decide this year nahi to bahut late ho raha hai you know that the mentality that people are going with so chai you know that is one thing again so there are these so many white spaces something like adhd in adults uh, is huge there is no space in india which discusses it uh, the impact of going through an arranged marriage process as simple as that we've had so many people who come for that group uh, with us because you don't see it as mental health but hai ha bahut log hain jo impact hote hain in cheezon se um taking decisions around egg freezing uh, such an emotional decision for people uh, taking decisions on whether uh, you know you want to move back to the us uh, taking decisions on so life decisions in general is like a big thing i think us. i think one thing which um, i can personally relate to is uh, i have undergone an adoption journey and i'm oh. a part of a group 
uh, you know, where uh, there were, now, of course, I have kids, uh, you know, with me, but at one point of time, I was a prospective, you know, adoptive, uh, you know, parent. So, there was so much of discussion around, uh, you know, the time period that we have to wait, the yeah. uncertainty, you know, how the child may or may not look like you, yeah. how you don't have, uh, you know, control, uh, you know, uh, over a lot of things, you know, about uh, the child, how the family is not very supportive about it, you know, should I do IVF, should I do yeah. surrogacy, or, you know, etc, etc. So, I, I, whenever I used to read that, you know, group, I would just feel that it's an emotional outburst of so many, Thank you me. know, parents just wanting to... Uh, prospective parents just wanting to uh, you know get into you know the entire adoption zone and there is a lot of uncertainty you know around it so i'm not sure if this is a white space but you have identified but i personally feel that you know yeah. this uh, the, the audience would be the the number of people would be very very uh, limited but this is a real white space so from my life you know no, journey, completely agree and we've had conversations on adoption and even surrogacy on uh, on solar so sometimes when spaces are big enough, we create support groups around it. But otherwise, you know, that peer format gives you that leverage. That you can long things for peers. I'll give you another example. There's something called cyclic vomiting syndrome. Uh, it's a rare condition. So, but for people who have it, you know, they'll pay any amount of money to talk to somebody else who has it. So, uh, because that is what the power of internet in general is. That, you know, you can cater to this very, very long tail. Ki ha, maybe there are a few lakh people in India only who need it. It's not a very big market, but they definitely need it and they will pay the money because this is important to their life. Uh, so you can look at it in any way. And you know, uh, there these white spaces have actually served us very well because we realize that we are probably the only people doing it. Um, and people then stick to those solutions because they've not found those for them elsewhere. No, very interesting, Punita. Uh, I absolutely love what you are, uh, you Thank know, you. Uh, building. I wish you all the best. Hope you are able to create, uh, you know, impact to many, many, many uh, lives. If you have any uh, last message for the audience, anything that you would want to talk, you know, from your journey, anything, you know, on mental health, you know, please feel free to give that message. Oh, I mean, I don't have any specific message other than, you know, uh, definitely take care of uh, people around you and yourself. And uh, if you feel that you're struggling with something, um, I think it's, we're just living in such great times that we have access to the technology, we have access to solutions sitting at home. Uh, so if you feel like you're struggling, there's no reason to push it out. Now, uh, we live, I mean, we are so equipped now. We have access uh, to different formats of help and uh, things that you can, be, you can try uh, very conveniently. So definitely try it and, you know, be open to what the world has for you and be open and connected to other people and learn from them. That's it. Thank you. Thanks, Punita. Thanks.